Fifine is an audio company known for their great value microphones, like the Key 68 or the Key 69B. They are one of the best selling microphones on Amazon. Today, we are going to have a look at the Fifine 678, a microphone that costs less than $60. But how it sounds? Is any good? Welcome to the review of the Fifine 678 microphone. Hello, Thiago here. Welcome. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews and unboxings like this one. If this is something that interests you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet in the end of the video. With this said, let's start the review of the Fifine 678 microphone. Let's start with the price. The Fifine comes at $59.99 on the Fifine website and for the UK on Amazon is £69.99, a really great price. Like always, I will leave links in the video description for the best price. The build quality is amazing. On the box you have a USB-A to mini USB cable, one adapter to mount the Fifine on the mount arm or a mic stand, a desk stand and a microphone. The microphone, like I said before, feels amazing. It's built to last. Its body is full metal with a stand desk made of metal as well. It comes in black. The front, we have the mute button and LED that indicates when the microphone is muted with a red color and the green color when the microphone is on. Above that, we have the Fifine logo. On the back, you have the headphones volume control knob. Above that, you have the gain control knob that controls the sensitivity of the microphone capsule. On the sides, you can fix the DEX mount. And the last one, the bottom, you have the USB mini port. In the middle, the threading to mount the adapter to mount the microphone on a mic stand and the headphone jack. Next, let's start with the specs for the nerds. And after that, I will speak about the features from outside. So, it's a Type C USB condenser, 5 volts, called polar pattern, unidirectional cardioid. Frequency response is 40 Hz to 20 kHz. Sensitivity is minus 45 to more or less 3 dBs at 1 kHz. Equivalent noise level 66 dB. Dynamic range 88 dB. A single to noise ratio of 85 dB. A max SPL of 130 dB. Bit rate of 16 bit rates for 48 kHz. Now some of the features from outside. It comes with the desk stand and with the possibility to mount on a boom arm or stand. It has a mute button, gain knob and headphones volume control. And it comes with a very good length USB cable. And now, with all the specs out of the way, let's do some testing. Please be the judge next on the sound of this microphone and let me know in the comments what you think. Right guys, now I'm testing the Fifine microphone. Fifine? I'm, I, I never know how to say it. Uh, anyways, I'm testing with my voice. So now it's the voice test, as you guys can see. Um, this is a condenser microphone, so it needs to be close to your mouth to work properly. Uh, otherwise, the sound will not be the greatest. Uh, it's different from this one on top of me. That's the, this, this is the one I uh, record my all my videos. Uh, this is the Boyer. It's an XLR microphone, uh, so yeah guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the sound. I done the test uh, ambient sound, I done the test with the keyboard, I done the test with the toothbrush, 
I don't know why, but I did it. And so let me know in the comments what you guys think about the sound. Um, I think it's a great sound. As you guys can see, I have, like I showed before, I have um XLR microphone like this one from um, Comica as well. I have uh, another channel, uh, it's a dead channel, um, like a gaming channel with my little one DJ. And I'm thinking and starting the, the gaming again. So when Fifine uh, reached me to test this microphone, I thought, oh, why not? So I will have this one for me and my little one will have uh, the Fifine microphone. I think is a great sound for the price range this microphone is quite good and let's do another test let's put the microphone a bit away from my voice from my voice away from my voice away from my mouth and let's see how it sounds what do you guys think about the sound so I'm not gonna edit any sound so not gonna be the raw sound coming up so yeah let me know in the comments uh, let's go back to the review uh, with a normal microphone normal microphone with a different microphone anyway see you guys on the review the Fifine is still one of the best mics out of there for YouTube in my opinion it has all the same features of a blue Yeti apart from the polar patterns and costs a lot less so if you are starting a YouTube channel and need a simple mic that sounds great and is budget friendly I would recommend this one I have tested a few mics on this channel and some of them cheaper than this one but they take too long on after production to sound good and the Fifine sounds great without any after production. So the overall value of this mic is great and like I said before this is the mic to get if you want to start the YouTube in 2021, the Fifine K678. Right guys, this was my review on the Key 678 microphone. Thanks for watching this video and if you liked the video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the right time. I'm Thiago and I wish you guys a really nice day. I will catch you later.